Hello everyone, welcome to what I think will be the last video for now of this series, so video 14 of my Yao Tips and Tricks series. And this one is how to never get triple parity ever again on 6x6. And this is exclusively for 6x6, so let's get started. So, in order to perform this trick, you need to be able to do two types of parity based on the case you get. So the first case will, will be when the outer two wings are need to flip, and this is your standard parity alg for your outer edges or outer wings. So like that. And the second alg is when you need to flip the inner two pieces and it goes something like this, or this is the alg that I use. Like that, and that's also inner two. Okay, coming back to this cube, you see we have a parity edge here. So I'm just gonna quickly solve F2L. Do sledge. Okay, so here we, ha as I can see, for OLO, you will either have zero edges oriented, two edges, or all four edges. When you have three edges oriented, you know that you will have parity or one edge oriented. So, in order to avoid triple parity, you need to be able to recognize how many edges are oriented. For when you have an OLL edge flip like this. So in this case, I see that I have two edges here. If I had one, then I would need to do inner slice parity, but since I have two, then I just do regular parity to basically avoid triple parity. Okay, so the same concept can be used when you have an F2L edge that's flipped but this one is harder to do quick as quick in a speed solve. So basically you just, it follows the same concept where you just have to track which edges are oriented. So I'll just solve F2L again. So, like this. I just, just for demonstration purposes, I took that out that edge out so here this edge here is oriented and i noticed i have two on top so if i flip the outer two here since this is also oriented i know that i will have to do another parity since it's basically like doing that and you will have uh three edges and then you will need to flip this edge which is quite inefficient so from here, I know that since this, if I flip the outer two, this would be oriented and leaving me with the th three edges on top. I need to do inner slice parity for this edge to solve it and basically avoid the second parity. So let's do that. And then from there, I, ins I finish off that pair and go on to OLO without any parity. So just be aware of your edge orientation and then do the right parity according to uh, what your edge orientation is. And that's basically how you never get triple parity ever again. So thanks for watching this entire series. If I think of any more, then I'll upload the, those, the tricks that I think of. And yeah, thanks for watching.